Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can add products to your TikTok shop page. So let's get right into it. Uh, first and foremost, I am using the uh, TikTok shop Academy article on the matter since TikTok shop is not available in my country as of yet. However, it will serve perfectly fine and feel free to check it out if you don't get anything that I explain. Uh, now you can uh, upload in a few ways. You can do single uploads and batch or uh, bulk uploads. Uh, single uploads are done in the following way. Uh, first of all, uh, everything is done in the seller center. So make sure you log into the TikTok seller center. Uh, once you're here, go to products and under products, either click add new product, which is one way. And the other is managing products where you can view all your products. And then you can either add new product or edit any of these existing ones, as you can see here, and view their status, if they're invisible, live, if they have been sold, what their price is, and so on and so forth, uh, how much you have in stock as well. And yeah, to actually add a uh, piece of merch or a product, you will need to describe what you are uploading uh, through a name, category, and brand. Uh, you will need to fill out some basic information and add uh, images, as you can see here. And once you've added all that, you need to provide a product certification, such as uh, this declaration or a test report or a cosmetic product notification, so on and so forth. You need to denote the variation NSKU list. Uh, you also need the product identifier code. Uh, and once you are done with all of that, you can just click submit and it will be submitted to your sales. Uh, another thing is the batch upload. You need to download and upload the template as well as batch edit images. Uh, you can just modify your upload by uh, selecting batch tool here and then batch upload. Uh, you, then you need to download a template and then once you're done with that, fill it in and then you can upload the template and then upload the feedback. That's pretty much how you do the batch. Uh, if you want, check out this article. It goes into much more detail than I have time to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.